Hey everyone, Alan here again from the Wild Rift team. We're excited to turn to the open skies of patch 3.3 and give you a preview of what's coming. Today we'll be sharing some fearsome new champions, updates to Elemental Rift, a new competitive experience in Ranked, and a summer event that might involve a magical transformation. Anyway, let's look to the horizon together. Welcome to Wild Rift Patch 3.3, Shining Bright. Cassadin, the Voidwalker, emerges from the wastelands of Acacia into this patch. Cassadin is a melee mid laner who scales powerfully into the late game. His passive, Voidstone, shields him from magic damage after casting a spell near an enemy. His first ability fires a Null Sphere that briefly silences your target. If you're facing an enemy that relies on casting spells to deal magic damage, Cassadin might be the pick for you. His second ability, Netherblade, empowers his next attack. You'll gain range, deal bonus damage, and restore mana if you hit a champion. Netherblade's cooldown resets on killing its target, so it's a good tool for securing farm in lane. Cassadin's third ability, Force Pulse, deals magic damage and slows in a cone. It becomes more powerful after spells are cast nearby, so be sure to stack it up to make the biggest impact. His ultimate, Riftwalk, strikes fear into the hearts of squishy champions everywhere. Cassadin blinks to a target location and damages nearby enemies. Casting it again within a few seconds deals more damage but costs double the mana. You'll have no problem taking down any teamfight stragglers as long as you keep an eye on your mana bar. Now we'll leave the void behind and visit the ferocious land of Noxus. Samira, the Desert Rose, is here to amp up your style in the Dragon Lane. With a mix of melee and ranged attacks, Samira is for players who want to take risks and look good while doing it. Her passive, Daredevil Impulse, lets her stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with other champions. When she's close enough, she'll change out her pistols for a short-range blade attack, which deals bonus damage. When she attacks an immobilized enemy, she'll dash into range. If they're airborne, she'll knock them up for a few extra seconds. Samira's first ability, Flare, fires a single shot. But if there's an enemy in front of her, she'll slash out in a cone instead. Her second ability, Blade Whirl, creates an area around Samira, destroying all projectiles. It's the perfect tool to escape from a sticky situation. Save it for enemy crowd control and you'll get away scot-free. Windrush, Samira's third ability, allows her to dash towards an enemy champion or structure, slashing everything in her path. Samira can cast other abilities during her dash as well. Samira's ultimate, Infernal Trigger, is a real showstopper. It has no cooldown, but you'll need S-grade style to pull it off. Stack up style by dealing damage to champions with different abilities and attacks. Each unique source grants a stack. At maximum stacks, it's time to unleash your full destructive power. Samira can't cast Blade Wall during Inferno Trigger, and it could be interrupted by crowd control, so make sure you have a clear shot. Samira also comes with something special to flex on your enemies. When you use an emote, you'll throw them one gold. Try it out if you're feeling generous or just to brag about your first blood kill. Scion, the undead juggernaut, rises once more. If you've got an axe to grind in the barren lane, try out this unstoppable force and lay waste to the rift. Scion's passive, glory and death, allows him to keep fighting from beyond the grave. When he dies, he'll briefly come back to life, fearing nearby opponents. He gains lifesteal and tenacity, and his abilities are replaced with Death Surge, which grants move speed. His health quickly decays over time, so use your extra seconds wisely. Scion will also gain bonus health whenever he kills a unit or gets a takedown on a champion. His first ability is Decimating Smash. Cast once to start channeling the swing of your axe, then cast again to bring it down. Channeling for long enough will change your slow into a knockup. Soul Furnace, Scion's second ability, grants a shield that will explode with a second cast. His next ability, Roar of the Slayer, deals magic damage, slows and reduces the armor of the first enemy hit. If it's a minion, they'll be knocked back, applying the same effects to all enemies in their path. Follow this up with Decimating Smash to easily set up a gank on your enemy laner. Scion's ultimate, Unstoppable Onslaught, makes him a fearsome initiator. Cast to charge forward in the target direction, but choose wisely. You can move during your charge, but you'll turn very slowly. 
when he collides with an enemy or terrain, he'll slam the ground to deal damage and knock up in an area. The further Sire moves, the longer the knock up, so rush in from far away to hit the hardest. During his charge, Sion is immune to all crowd control and he can recast to end it early. Over the last few patches, we've been testing versions of Elemental Rift as a game mode. We've tried a few different things with Dragon Spawns, Elder Buff, and Dragon Souls in preparation for our full release. Now, we're excited to tell you that Elemental Rift is here to stay. In the Shining Bright patch, this update will spread its wings and officially become the default map for all game modes on Summoner's Rift. Hey everyone, Adnan here from the gameplay team. We've had a great time hearing your feedback through our testing period and the team is excited to share the full release of Elemental Rift with all of our players. In our full release, we're updating our Dragon Slayer buff with a new effect to reward you for taking more dragons over the course of a game. As before, on each dragon kill you'll gain its respective elemental buff. In addition, killing multiple dragons will multiply the power of all of your elemental buffs. Take down more dragons to stack it up and get even stronger. If your game goes long, you'll see elder dragons spawning late in the game as usual. If your team needs a super powerful buff to secure your victory, you'll want to pick up its true damage and execution effects. And of course, what would Elemental Rift be without taking full advantage of the infernal, ocean, and mountain terrains, changing the shape of the map to match one of the elements? This will happen after the first dragon kill, so you'll see those effects in almost every game. Our work still isn't 100% complete. This version of Elemental Rift satisfies a lot of our goals, but we think there's still plenty of opportunity for us to explore. You can expect additional tune-ups and changes in future releases. That said, this update has been in progress for a long time and we're excited to finally make it official. Let us know what you think of the new Rift in the comments. Let's take a look at the gameplay updates coming to the Shining Bright patch. We always want to make sure that every champion feels relevant and good to play no matter when they were released. We have some small changes to share in the upcoming patch notes that will bring a few of them up to speed. We'll be looking to do this more often through the rest of 2022, so keep an eye out for light adjustments that will help every champ continue to hit our target experience. Long cooldowns on ultimate abilities make them feel slower than they should. We want to give everyone better opportunity to make their plays and carry their games. Champions like Galio, Amumu and Ramus have especially long ultimate cooldowns. So we're reviewing every ultimate in the game and adjusting ability haste across all champions. Overall, we hope that this helps keep every champion exciting to play in fast-paced games. This patch, you'll have a bit more flexibility with your boots enchantment. We're introducing active item swapping, so you can use the shop to change to a different active without selling your boots. This costs a bit of gold and puts your active on a short cooldown. With that, we're bringing new enchantments to the shop. Use Repulsor Enchant to knock back enemies in a small area around you. If you're a marksman trying to survive enemy assassins, it's a great pick for self peel. This is also a good option for tanky initiators like Malphite, if you'd like to split up the enemy team after going in. Magnetron Enchant is for champions who want to stick by their carry. When activated, you'll dash to an ally and taunt a nearby enemy. For supports like Leona or Rakan, this will allow you to create even more space for your duo laner to move freely. Quicksilver Enchant is getting an update. Now, it grants a brief window of immunity to crowd control, plus a bit of tenacity and slow resistance. This will make Quicksilver slightly easier to get value from, with a longer immunity window to use. We're also making a change to Gargoyle Enchant. Instead of boosting your maximum HP, you'll gain a shield that decays over a short period of time. Its value will be larger if there are three or more enemies nearby. The previous iteration of Gargoyle Enchant didn't feel as impactful as we'd like, so this will be a more noticeable tool for tanking extra damage. With all these changes, we'll be removing Shadow's Enchant. This upgrade had consistently low satisfaction and is rarely purchased, so these spooky ghosts will be disappearing to make way for other actives. Currently, most players will choose to build Zonias in the majority of situations because none of the other enchantments really measure up. 
We want to make sure that you always have a variety of useful options to play with, so we hope this item update creates some competition. We have a major update to the ranked experience this patch. With several seasons now under our belt, we've heard from a lot of you that you're looking for a more serious challenge that really allows you to test your skill. In Season 6, we'll be introducing Legendary Ranked, a solo-only, point-based queue. Players who are diamond and above will unlock it, and they can jump in to earn points and advance through six tiers. For those who hit the Legend tier, individual player rankings will update in real time, so you can really see how you're matching up. Of course, you'll get more than a bit of glory. Legendary Rank Q players can unlock exclusive items and an extra skin augment to show off their climb. Legendary Ranked will have the same season cycle as the Rank system, but it won't be immediately enabled at the start of Season 6. We want to ensure that the pool of players is large enough for a healthy matchmaking experience, so it'll kick off slightly later in the season. The queue will only be available at certain hours to ensure you'll be able to find matches during those times. By restricting the queue to when a larger number of players are looking to compete, our matchmaking system will be able to get you into games more consistently. We're making some adjustments to how Ranked works so we can better serve all types of competitive players. We're aiming for Ranked progression to feel smoother overall, so Ranked marks will now apply to all tiers of the current Ranked queue, including Diamond Plus. Provisional games will also be removed. We're also introducing new Ranked missions and rewards. When you achieve a Rank for the first time, you'll unlock a bit more content to support progress in your Ranked journey. This Ranked update is a huge moment for us to celebrate your accomplishments, and we're excited to hear your feedback and continue to improve the competitive experience. In all the excitement, we have our next glorious skin to share with you. For Season 6, Glorious Crimson Fiora is making her grand challenge. Play Ranked to collect her from the Season Rewards tab. If you prove yourself a worthy opponent, you can unlock her Golden Weapon Augment in the Ranked Store. Just make sure you know what you're doing with that sword. Is this supposed to be a challenge? We hoped you enjoyed exploring the world of dreamscapes in the last few Wild Passes. Now, we're leaving the mysteries of the mind for the distant sky. Stargazer Karma graces us from the cosmos in this Wild Pass. May the constellations guide you in your journey to level 50. Hmm, our top astronomers are telling me that they've spotted something in the night sky. Something animated? No, anime? In an ordinary high school, something extraordinary awaits. Shine bright and answer the call of fate. Star Guardian is coming to Wild Rift. Wear the Oath of the First Star and enter the Star Guardian event, full of magic, hope and galaxy-saving friendship. Play to earn star candies and collect unique rewards. And maybe you'll encounter something adorable or terrifying. You'll also see the redeemed Star Guardian event with missions to complete for event tokens. You can pick up extra tokens directly from the store, trade them in for an after-school snack. I, I mean, Tons of different rewards, including Redeemed Zaya and Redeemed Rakan. Guardians will be coming together across some of our other Runeterran games as well. 
We want to save some surprises for later, so that's all we can say for now. But rest assured, it'll be out of this world. To round out the Shining Bright patch, we've got some other skins that are sure to make a splash. Let's dive into the montage. That's everything for this update. Whether you're in the mood to flex your skills with our edgier champions or dive into a story of starlit fate and friendship, we hope you're excited for the Shining Bright patch. Thanks for listening and see you on the Elemental Rift. <laughs>